as the stomach turns. <laughs> when we last left Canoga Falls, Marion had succeeded in having the charges against her 90-year-old grandfather reduced from assault with a deadly weapon to molesting a neighbor's tree. <laughs> But it was obvious that something would have to be done about Gramps, and soon. Gramps, your tea is ready. Here I come. heart talk, dear. I've, I've put it off as long as I could, but it must be done. Sit down, Gramps. <laughs> I don't think I could do that again. Gramps, I have some good news for you and some bad. Today, is your 91st birthday. Oh, what's the good news? I'm sending you away to Sun City. Sun City. I'm glad you agree. <laughs> I don't want to go to Sun City. Gramps, Gramps, the judge insisted on it. Oh, what did I do? Don't you remember Monday when you attacked the Avon lady? <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, no, oh, I, I didn't. I, I just fainted against her. <laughs> You'll be happier there. Oh, no, I won't. I'm going to run away. Try to catch me. That's the door. Sound like a bell. <laughs> Why, it's a teenage temptress. <laughs> Hi, my name is Cindy. Hello, Cindy. Why, dear, you look lost. Would you like to live here? Oh, I certainly would. I need a home. Every family I've stayed with, I've destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> well, come in, come in. It's been a long time since we heard a child's laughter here. <laughs> Where's my room? At the top of the stairs, dear. The one with the toys, the teddy bear, and the coloring book. 
That's my room. Who's he? This is my dear, sweet, generous, kind, lovable old grandfather who I'm getting rid of today. <laughs> Excuse me while I change. <laughs> She's not 21. She will be by the time I get there. <laughs> really, Gramps? Don't try to stop me, man. <laughs> I'm in love. Very well, go ahead. Throw your life away. teenage temptress live here. I need someone to talk to. Oh, I wish my brother Ralph were here. <laughs> Hello, Ralph. Hello. I was just talking about you to myself. Marion, I'd like for you to meet my new wife. Well, hello, number four. <laughs> my goodness, you two act just like lovebirds. Well, we're very much in love. That explains it. Yes. From the first moment I saw her, I knew she was the only one for me. I would never love another woman. I'd like a divorce. All right. Goodbye, number four. They've all been such good sports, haven't they, Ralph? Yes, Marion. Excuse me. Of course. Hello there. I'm wild about you. Naturally. What's your name? Oh, I'm sorry. What's happened to my manners? <laughs> uh, Cindy, this is my brother, Ralph. Ralph, this is the girl who broke up your marriage, Cindy. How do you do? From this moment on, I'll be your slave. I'll live every moment just for you. I'll love you forever. Come away with me, Cindy. Nah. <laughs> Life means nothing to me now. I'll never see her again. Don't be too sure. She may be your new grandmother. <laughs> if only you weren't my brother. Marion. Marion. Yes? I don't know whether to join the Foreign Legion <laughs> or kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> I take acting lessons. <laughs> First Gramps, and now Ralph. I'll get it. <laughs> I wonder who'll be her next victim. <laughs> Father Colucci! <laughs> I'm sorry, Father. Oh, no, that, that's all right, Marion. You, you come to expect that when you're out all day selling raffle tickets. <laughs> Do come in. Tell me, what brings you here? I am seeking a lamb who strayed from the flock. You mean Cindy? No, that sounds like a girl. I'm looking for a lamb. <laughs> it's, uh, it's for the Christmas play. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, how are things at the church? Oh, just fine, just fine. We're thinking of adding another bingo night, but uh, don't let me bother you with religious details. <laughs> I don't mind. Hi. Oh, uh, Father, this is Cindy. Cindy's living with us now, but I'm afraid there's a problem. Well, that's easily solved. What this child needs is love. Believe me, that's not the problem. <laughs> well, I must be going. So soon. Yes, the Monsignor and I are having a dispute over church policy, and we're taking it to a higher authority. The bishop? No, Danny Thomas. 
He's such a nice man. He certainly is. Is he single? <laughs> Cindy, go take a cold shower. <laughs> I wonder how Grandfather is doing. Gramps, how are you feeling? Oh, 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 just as I thought. Hello, Canoga Falls, General Hospital, Dr. Hoffer, please. What, he's in an emergency operation? Yes, I'll hold on. Hello, Dr. Hoffer. <laughs> this is Marion. Could you come right over? Gramps is really sick this time. I think it's serious. Thank you. Oh, just in case, would you pick up my black dress? It's at the cleaners. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. At last. Oh, thank you. Where's Gramps? He's right. Yeah. Oh. the fastest I ever came down. Just lie, lie down here, Gramps. Oh, I stepped the scope. Oh. Take it easy, Gramps. Oh. Just take it easy. Oh. I can't hear anything. His heart stopped. Oh. It started again. <laughs> I'll tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to leave my wife and three children and make a fool of myself. But, Doctor, you're the only doctor we have in Canoga Falls. What if someone should need medical attention? There's always the Reader's Digest. That's right. Oh, my precious love, you're mine and mine alone. <sighs> what's that, Gramps? Halfies. Mmm. <laughs> Not a chance. Come, my dear. Let's... Wait! Before you go out that door, I have something to tell you. What is it that Marion has to say to Dr. Hoffer? Will Dr. Hoffer run away with Cindy? Or, as a medical man, will he jog? <laughs> and what about Cindy? What will she be wearing the next time we see her? And what about Gramps? Will his liver transplant be successful so that he can once again take his place as a public nuisance? <laughs> and what about Father Colucci? Will his TV sermonette be canceled because his guests were the Smothers Brothers? <laughs> and what about Marion? What will she do when she discovers that Cindy is really her own daughter, the one she always wanted but never had? <laughs> For the answer to these and other dumb questions, tune in tomorrow as the stomach turns.